little bit of a break today from the heat. We hit 98 in Boston yesterday. We're not going to be talking about temperatures in the 90s today, except for a few communities. But we may hit 90, and that's about it. The temperature right now in Lawrence and Boston is 79. We're in the mid-70s from Taunton down through Chatham. And we're very similar to some of the hottest spots across the country right now. Dallas, El Paso, Texas. Both sitting at 79 degrees, same as us. All right, so Phoenix has us beat at 88, but we are pretty warm across a lot of the central and eastern United States. It's been all about the heat and the humidity, and the humidity is still in place right now. It's not going anywhere for the time being. We do have a cold front, though. That's the weather maker on the map today, and that marks the leading edge of cooler, less humid air that's just starting to come in across northern New York and far northern New England, right along the Canadian border. And we will start to see a dip in the humidity levels by the sea evening and overnight tonight and that will bring a noticeable change for the day tomorrow. High say though still go 82 to 90 for many of us about 89 in Boston 90 in Taunton 80s on the Cape so with the humidity factored in we'll still have some heat index values to top out over 90 through Connecticut Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts away from the coastline so heat advisories are up for heat index in the mid 90s in these spots from 10 a.m. this morning until 7 p.m. Now as the front comes in there'll be a couple of showers possible today Today, nothing all that widespread. Notice some clouds will filter the sunshine at times. Either side of midday, maybe a pop-up shower in a couple of spots. An isolated thunderstorm can't be ruled out today, but it's just that. I'm not anticipating severe weather. Maybe a quick downpour here in the southeast part of the state by early evening. And then some clouds and a leftover shower too through the evening hours. And tonight we turn less humid. Finally a comfortable night for sleeping. As the dew points slowly drop through the mid and lower 60s, and our temperatures will be in the 60s as well. So drier air coming in will mean a big change tomorrow. It actually will be a really nice end to the week. Sun and clouds for our Friday, but notice the temperature will only be in the 70s tomorrow. Low 70s at the coastline with a persistent onshore wind kind of cooling us off with that breeze. Mid 70s through the interior, a little weak area of high pressure over eastern Canada. So we will be dry tomorrow and and into Saturday. Looks pretty good too. Temperatures in the 70s. Then this warm front approaches and that will bring an increase in the humidity again as we head into the second half of the weekend. So most of us will be about 75 to near 80 on Saturday and then we jump back into the 80s on Sunday. The humidity goes back up. There'll be an isolated storm. Labor Day we're going to be topping out in the low 90s. Same for the start of next week. Looks like another heat wave on tap with some record highs possible for portions of next week.